I got a coil. We're at quality. I got to unload this. I make a loop around their yard and line up to the door. I back the 48 wheel configuration into the shop. I take all the chains off except for four. These guys got a massive overhead crane and they use that to lift the coil off my trailer. Once the coil's off to the side, I prepare myself to move out of my mom's house. Pulling out's a pretty easy part of this job, but so many fail at it. Congratulations, you're having quintuplets. Fuck this. Once I'm out, the forklift moves into place to scoop up the coil. We can't just take it off with the forklift. I knew you were going to ask that. The forks hit these ramps. I clean up some of the mess by throwing some stuff in here. I fire up the one cylinder with one pull. You gotta reshim the neck, cause it's set for loaded. We lift it up and we'll pull out some of these shims. We shimmy oh shimmy a, just like ODB, and we put the neck back to normal position. Shimmy, shimmy, yo, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah. By this time, the forklift's coming out with the coil. Inflate, 10 pounds. Unlock the steering. Inflate airbags on the trailer. Well, that's it for here, let's get out of here. It's the cinematic dust turn, it's always looking good. Dump the air in the booster and lock the steering. We back it up to the fence without actually hitting the fence. So that's the spot. Pull the pin, but I didn't quit. Disconnect those air lines and that power cord. This is important. These dolly legs are seized, so we just put pads and leave them hanging low so we can rip them off one day. I deck off, and this video is pretty much done.